Welcome, Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 17. So today we are going to be doing some Christmas baking. Yeah. So we're going to be baking some cookies and yeah it is actually takeaway night in so our it's family a win -win. so maybe we'll take them for some dessert. We will absolutely not share them but anyway we're going to get takeaway <laughs> and we're going to get some cookies so for us it's a win-win. Win-win. Grandma did you hear that? You, um, did want to, you didn't want to share the cookies with you? Grandma Buttman, cookies are coming your way. <laughs> what is also going on behind us? Because I'm here Ricky's, is Russell. Ricky's in one of the carry bags. Get out the carry bag. <laughs> Sorry everyone, we just had to pause there because Ruby had a hairball. Which is a good thing because if you don't something you don't know about Ruby is Ruby really struggles with like being sick. <laughs> it's just one of the many traits of him. But there he was like no fuss at all, was he? Straight, Straight out. Straight down. Good boy. Right, I've got the list of what we need. I'm gonna get Harris to get them out the cupboard. We need plain flour and caster sugar. Uh, we need the bacon butter and we need the salt and yeah. last but not least we need the mixing bowl and the scales so harrison has managed to find all of the ingredients supermarket sweep i would have passed check um so we have some salt we've got cheap i think bacon butter we'd call it the scales the bowl upside down caster sugar upside down caster sugar and um, plain flour so, easy easy recipe to make really yeah it is really easy so We'll show you what we're doing as we go along, but let's yeah, get bacon. bacon. It's a very easy uh, recipe to do, but we also don't trust ourselves entirely, so we're just pulling up. How did it? Yeah, just to make sure we don't mess it up on camera. And um, we've got Ruby better, the. I don't weigh him. <laughs> Eight kilograms of love. So first things first, we need six ounces of flour, Harrison. Do you think you can manage that? Yeah. Reset it so we get it right. That's how we've got six ounces of flour. Yeah, man. Because if we don't, we'll be all going in instead. This video is going to be over quickly. Do, 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 do. What am I saying, guys? The precision is key. Precision is key. Yeah, we've got more than that. Yeah, man, told you. 5.9. Oh, you can't just... see it. There it is. Yay! Yeah, well done, Ruby. Six ounces. Bash. Next step is Ricky. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. A pinch of salt, please, Harrison. <laughs> Ruby's very just intrigued. An extra pinch, just for good measure. Good for the potassium. Don't want anyone. Don't, don't alarm anyone. But Ricky's going to go and try to steal his advent calendar off the top of the fridge. Don't want anyone. You won't. Don't <laughs> anyone cramping. Next up, we're going to put four ounces of butter into here. Just got my special butter knife. <laughs> or just the face knife you picked up. Yeah, the one that was on the top. That is an interesting shade of yellow. It's because I've never used this one before. Yes. It's like bacon butter. It's the cheap stuff from Asda's. Whoa! Let's tip us over the edge. I have no idea. I'm not a, not a baker. Nowhere near. Oh, 3.8. Oh, oh. <sighs> Voila. I did wash my hands. Four ounces. Yeah. Is it gross to lick the butter off my finger? No, go Definitely for it. Soft mm. Oh, that's not that. <laughs> not as nice as lip pack. No. I'm going to add the last ingredient, so two ounces of caster sugar, basically all just goes in one bowl. Yeah, well... Easy peasy, lemon if squeezy. You're, if you're a dentist watching this, look away now. About to chuck a load of sugar in here. Yeah, but the not, biscuits wouldn't be that good if I didn't have them. ye old enamel. My name's Toofs. Two. Two. There we go, we've got it. That is the foundation of Christmas cookies. Yes. Like Put the sugar all over the <gasps> Before you do this part, Harrison, I have to check, have you washed your hands? Yeah, time to pull me slevs up. Yeah, because what he's about to do now is get his hands dirty and get mushing it together. See, that's not even disgusting, because that looks like the edge of the calendar tree. <laughs> Ew. Mm, mushy, mushy. Check me out kneading the butter. Yeah, man. You're baking like a cat. Talking of kneading, I need a few more subscribers. <gasps> Hit 500 before the end of the year. Do you know who you sound like when you said that? Who? Max Fosh. Max Fosh. I went to school with Max Fosh. 
<laughs> he wishes he did. But if you want to collab, we like watching your videos. And we are subscribed to your channel. Yeah, this is probably the worst bake technique I've you know. Well, this is what you've got to do. I'm yeah. ready for the ready for the hate in the comments, but hey, it's Christmas. B -b -b bacon Wait until they see what we have to do next and we don't have any of the implements to use. Oh, yes, bit of whiskey whiskey, I'm guessing. No, no, no. Yeah. Roly roly and cutty oh. cutty. <laughs> Glass Milk bottle. Yeah, probably not the safest, but... <laughs> I am helping emotionally. Ruby, I hope you've washed your hands after you've been in the toilet. No, you're not helping emotionally. What you're here to do is, is eat them. Tell you what to do. Yeah. Well, yeah. Harrison's doesn't look anything like what it should have looked like, apparently. But I think that's where it's going. Yeah, it's going there. So it's going to add a teeny, tiny bit of water and then knead it in again, I guess. Yeah. The most important part is... Was... <laughs> Throw it between your hands. <laughs> No look. <laughs> right, and then I'm going to sprinkle some flour on the bench. Go on then, my flour. <laughs> so I sprinkled some flour on the bench. Now Harrison's just going to dollop it on. Voila. Now we're going to roll it, but don't judge the way we roll it all. Sorry, I keep saying lol and I've already been told off by Harrison. I've been told off. I'm just, sorry, Harrison. Just kind of so we've swapped roles because I'm more the kind of brute force kind of guy. When it comes to precision and making sure we don't mess up, Brogan's in. Now, please don't judge us because we don't. Re we never really bake unless we're doing a video, really. Yeah, we've been doing once for fun. So there's no there's no reason for us to own a rolling pin. So we've just found an old bottle that you know has the shape of a rolling pin, and Brogan's going to town on it. So you know, family and friends, if you're watching this, don't waste a present. Buying us a rolling pin. You know, it's really hard to spin though because it's so like slippery. That's true. I mean, it does a sufficient job. So if you're going to buy us anything, family and friends, not a rolling pin. We're doing just fine. At the minute, it's just making me hungry because it looks like a cow's only. And I'm so ready for takeaway night. <laughs> or burrito. I'm Ugh. just trying to make it less sticky because. Maybe too much water was added. But when we had a tiny bit, like we were 12. Yeah. It's getting there though. So we've rolled it out nice and flat. You do that over and over again if you've not baked cookies before. With or without a rolling pin. With or without a rolling pin. But also what we don't have is like cookie cutters. So back to the trusty butter knife. Let's go. I'm going to try and do it in a Christmas shape though. What should I do? A tree. A tree? That's quite complex. I'll be back in a second. I'll let her concentrate. Update. Here comes the first biscuit. Ta da! Smash hey, I tell you what, that does look like a Christmas tree. Smash that. That is a fantastic that stuff. That's so good there. Yeah, that's really good. Woo! That's proof that she did it. There's the outline. Wow. What should you do next? Um, snowball. Nice and easy. This is not, I'll let you do a snowball. That's easy <laughs> for you. Um, Use all the artsy ones and I'll just do whatever's left maybe over. Maybe I'll try to do a snowman. Okay. Pressure's on. Every time. Ah. This is the advent calendars up there, which he's trying to get. So he's literally used me to get on my shoulder. Come on, mate. I don't need that. I'll just stop the camera. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. I should have just seen the previous clip. I have got Roby on my arm. We're just zooming in. Oh! Snowman in! Look at that! I am killing it! Woo! Yeah. Look at this. Um. Producer Roby. And what have we got here? Teeny tiny star. There we go. Star Baker of the Week. <laughs> I don't even watch The Great Rich Bake Off, but at this rate, we could be on it. <laughs> what is that? Let's call it Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Star. Patrick Star. What are we going for now, Brian? I'm doing a little rectangle in the spare space here. And is that supposed to be like a Christmas cracker or just a rectangle? Uh, this one's just a rectangle, I just thought, you know. Yeah, Christmas rectangle. Christmas rectangle. I'm gonna um re roll. Mm, yes. You know, that's how you make the use of your space. Oh my gosh, bit of aggression. <laughs> Getting me out of with Harrison in the so joking. Joking. You have a kiss. He loves me. He loves me just as much, if not more, than Brogan. No, he does not. Yes, he does. He loves me more. No, he doesn't. He's my little baby bean. Yeah, you're mommy's little baby bean. Would you like to cut some shapes, Harrison? 
Get some shapes! I was just gonna do the same thing but I had the camera. Come on then, Harrison, take it away. I don't know, do a pizza slice. A pizza slice? This okay. Festive pizza slice. Or it could be a Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it looks good. Do you want to pop it on the tray? Never figure out how to fly. I'm just letting people see. I'll figure out how to get it out. <laughs> Dorito. Dorito. Update. We're on to the second tray. We've gone for a few bite sized snacks, you know, stuff you can grab and go. Classic squares this is now. Quite <laughs> Yeah, that's a quick, mm, hungry but not too hungry. Rerolling with the snazzy water bottle, finishing off the mixture. I was going to call it dough, but it's not. Is it dough? Is it not that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Time. They're going in. So we're going to put them in like 15 minutes and then we'll check on them. Good idea. Oh, there we go for now. Harrison, why the bench? <laughs> so we've took the cookies out, well, biscuits, I guess, not really cookies, not chocolate chip, out of the oven. We're just letting them cool. Um, we don't have, like, a cooling rack or anything, so they're just cooling here, and that'll have to do. But no, they look good. They, they feel, taste good. They feel good. We can try one of the mini ones if you want, mm -hmm. without toppings. We'll try it. Look, I'm going to snap this mini one in half. Here we go. Do it over this. Here we go. Just be real. Be real. Three. Oh, you did. Last time I didn't cheers you, even though you're not cheers me. That touched my tongue a bit. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Buttery. Mmm. Good. I like it. Me too. I'm gonna grab some more. No. Once they're all cooled, we have our icing sugar. We have some decorations. So we can do that, but. You have to wait the cools, obviously. Okay, so the cookies, biscuits, whatever you want to call them, have cooled down. We are now at the fun part. This is where my artistic flair shines. Mm. We're decorating the cookies. So Brogan has just made up some ice and sugar, a bunch of different bits and bobs that you probably would have seen before. Some decorative stuff, letters, numbers, sprinkly bits and bobs. So let's decorate these things. Got a little bit of ice in it. Ice in it. Ice in it, yep. Here we go. What are you going to go for first? Ah, oh, the mega festive Christmas rectangle. The mega fest! Well, have you been so nice to put some chocolate, chocolate, Christmas squares aside for the family? Yeah, man. Wow. One for each of them. Beautiful. I think decorating things like this are my forte because you don't have to be fancy with it. Whack the icing on it and then you just lob anything on there. It hasn't got to look a certain way, hasn't got to be presentable. It's no, just got to taste good. What you can do. Yeah. Right, what should I put on this one? Bit of everything, man. <coughs> that is like that's a Christmas rectangle. Bit of everything. Some snowflakes. These are Christmas snowflakes. If you watched our chocolate bath video, you'd have seen these. Yeah, I think lots of these appeared, didn't they? If you haven't watched it, you should go back and watch it. We're just absolutely busting out ideas of Christmas snacks and foods that you can eat during this festive season. It's a Harrison special. Yeah, anything with food, I'm there. Harrison is a foodie. I am. Yeah. Oh, Remy <coughs> just booped me. Oh, did he? Yeah. He's on the floor. How's it looking? Wow. Very festive. Looks like Elsa's cookie. Yeah. If you haven't seen our London vlog. Exactly. <laughs> oh, watch that. This wasn't planned, but. Loads of references from previous yeah, we videos. Yeah, we went to see um, Frozen. Let it go. Ah, we're going to cut the clip there. Cutscene. We've come to the joint decision that it's much better that Brogan decorates some. No, Sorry, ice. Brogan ices them and I decorate them because, although I was saying it's not, you know, right. too artistic. There's that one ready for you to decorate for me. Yeah, so I better put it down before it sets. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. She's back. We're all done. We're decorated. Um, even left one plain for me mum. Look at that. That's the prize possession, I think. The big snowman with the chocolate star on. Yeah, I'm going to have that one. They look good. They're not they supposed to be, you know, anything that you'd see in a, in a fancy bakery. It's something easy that anyone can do and it doesn't take long. No, They're tasty, doesn't. very minimal, cheap ingredients. Yeah. So if you're looking for something tasty, keep the kids entertained maybe over Christmas. It's a good thing to do, yeah. It's literally, what would you say, like five, six ingredients? Yeah. And I mean, look at We've these. We've got no ice and sugar left. That's the only thing we ran out of today. Some snowflakes for Christmas. Some... Hence why these ones have nice ice and then these ones just... 
Yeah, we have to say the snowman, I think, and the tree that you cut look the best. Yeah, here you are, a little bit there, love. Perfect for a Christmassy snack, aren't they? Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, so the next thing to do is eat them. Yeah, that's right. So that is another video done and dusted. Like we said, we are going to end this clip and then go and eat some of the Christmas cookies that we have just baked. One. It's now tea time. One now, then a few after tea. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, hopefully, yeah, you enjoyed this. Hopefully you find it useful, something you can do over Christmas. Um, and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at 6pm. But for now, tatty bye. Tatty bye.